And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zillion Poros. But first, tomorrow is Wednesday. Y'all know what that means. It's Wednesday night, Champion Spotlight Night stream. And so we had to determine what champion we're going to be doing. We've done a Champion Spotlight with Anivia and then Garen. And now, who's going to be tomorrow's Wednesday night champion? I forgot to do this before the first deck, before the Bone Skewer Elnux, as I usually do this before the first deck. Uh, but we're going to just kind of choose, use the random number generator, choose a champion. Again, there's 61 champions in Legends of Runeterra. So here we go. Click here. Number between 1 and 61. Oh, let's get this over on the screen. There we go. Let's see who we get. 54. Okay, champion number 54. So, of course, we count We count down. You know, we count it like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. But we'll just kind of count down the sides here. So we have... 4, 8, and let's see if I can scroll down. There we go. 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48. We're getting close. We need 54. So that's 52. 53 and 54 is Karma. Okay, Karma is going to be our new champion for tomorrow. Um, that means we're going to be building three competitive karma decks with different regions that's the thing about the champion spotlight is we want to we want to make them competitive decks and we want to have them in different regions to kind of showcase karma in different regions so that's what that's the plan for tomorrow we're going to build three karma decks you can see i haven't played very much karma most champions i have some level of mastery with karma not so much this is going to be um good and unique and something different all right we're back with our deck zillion poros so we have we have the, as you can see here, Karma Spotlight tomorrow. Um, this deck is going to be, uh, you know, playing some different Poros. We're going to have our Poro Snacks and our Aurora Porealis, but we're also playing Zillion. Now, the thought behind, like, why are we playing Zillion is because if we can level up Zillion, which isn't easy, but if we can, then with this ability, Round Start creates a fleeting copy of each non-fleeting card you played last round how we get the extra copies of cards, that could be awesome with Poro Snacks and, of course, Aurora Porealis. Um, and so that we can have Level Up Zillion create even more Poro Snacks or Aurora Porealis and get even more, you know, bigger Poros, more Poros and everything like that. Now, you may look at this, like, immediately and just see, wow, that's kind of weird that we're playing two, a zero, and one Braum. Why don't we play more Braums? Because Braum, um, you know, is great with Poros. The reason why is because it's just not that easy to level up Zillion and Braum also not that easy to level up Braum, but it is very, very easy to level up Azir. So we're going to play two copies of Azir because we need a leveled up champion. And the reason why we do is because really our deck, you know, with Shurima here is all about destined Poro. Like this is our Poro here. That's really cool. Because if round start, if you've leveled up a champion, transform it into Exalted Poro. And Exalted Poro is sweet. It gets that plus one, plus one. It has three random keywords. Really, really cool Poro. And so um, with the other two champions being difficult to level up, we're throwing a couple of zeros in here. Plus, level up Azir, good with Poros, right? Because if you have a level up Azir in play, you can just, like, you know, play a bunch of, like, one mana Poros. They all get plus one, plus zero for that round. And, you know, maybe if you've already had, like, some Poro snacks and you got them from the Aurora Porealis, you can make some... Uh, big poros with that too so that's that's also just works out just fine other top end stuff we got a couple of hearth guards to just grant the all the allies in our deck plus one plus one which could be really cool how we're drawing the extra cards with like preservarium and like poro herder drawing some poros um so that could be really cool just making even bigger poros with hearth guard and then we got one siphoning strike in here for like some removal that could buff up these champions that could be pretty cool but it could also buff up the champions that we get from Howling Abyss. Because if the Poros aren't enough, we also got two copies of Howling Abyss at the top end to make random level two champions. Now, unfortunately, what I, whenever the person... So these are all donation decks that viewers submitted. But when the, pers when the person donated this deck, I thought that like if we have the, the level two champion, that then that would be round start, we leveled a champion. But that you're not actually going through the act of leveling up a champion. You just have a level two champion. So so the um, level two champions for that do not help out your destined Poro at all. 
Uh, Merciless Hunter, of course, good interaction for us as well. And that's going to kind of be the rest of our deck. So we're going to try Zillion Poros. We're going to go play our five games in normal like we always do on Meme Tier Day. Even though today's Meme Tier Tuesday. Usually it's Meme Tier Monday. <laughs> we got Meme Tier Monday, Tuesday edition today. Uh, no, Zoe, Zoe from the Abyss does not give you the permanent effect. Because to get that permanent effect, you, it's, you get that from the act of leveling up your Zoe. All right, two Poro Snacks to start with. We got Timo Ophelios. We got Zillion. We got Azir and double Poro Snacks. I like it. I like it. We're going to find some Poros. I'm not too worried about finding Poros. We may just find Poros from the Por Porealis. Okay, so we want time bombs and Poros. See what we got. We're gonna take the time bomb. Sorry, lonely Poro. We'll find another one. Let me just pass. Rude. Return. All right, so I'm thinking like play the Zier so I get to attack with it because then you know, make another unit. Get this going towards the Azir level up. We're at three. <laughs> Not that close, but closer than one. So I may be able to, like, Siphoning Strike. Because they certainly attack, right? So I'm not that worried about them passing back. Because even if they do pass back, sure, I waste two mana, but then we can Time Bomb and kill all of these. Oh, really? I got really punished for waiting, because then we just drew another time bomb. It would have been great. Yeah, then I would have been able to kill those two ones. They say these were from the protector himself. Yeah, that was a sad moment, right? Could have had the double time bomb. That would have been great. Would have killed both of those two ones. I do not own a Poro right now. You spurn my gift. Five for Azir. So I need to play one more spell and then get another moon weapon. Alright, what's their other moon weapon? I'm not sure. Alright, let's... Let's try this. Certainly hope it works. I got the deal 3 to a follower. Well, this is bad news.
Bad news. With all these elusives. Yeah, you'd think we'd find Poros by now. There's a Poro. So do we want to throw down the Howling Abyss and get that going? Or we play Mighty Poro plus Poro Herder plus, you know, either a Poro Snacks or another Poro. Um, of course, that would help to enable the Calibrum. I honestly kind of think it's just best to just get the Howling Abyss in play and see if we can find some Super cool level 2 champions. This is a good Kyrian Sump Worker deck that my opponent has. Just, you know, more elusives. Like, the flight with that makes a lot of sense. How the flight kind of helps you dig. And it also gives you another elusive. I got really punished by waiting on that time bomb earlier. I could have killed the flights. And that other 3-1 with that the time bomb. Felios is good. Bone's got a good deck. I imagine they're winning this with how they were able to stop my once they stopped the siphoning strike. Like that was the real important thing. Once they stopped that. Fortunately, this looks like it's over. Yeah, the Howling was greedy, so I think that was probably the right line then, because I think that when we're looking at this Sumpworks posse at any time that could kill me super fast, we have to get real greedy to try to find something that would be able to best that. Um, so I think I think that was the right line. Because it's... Because Mighty Poro, Porter, Poro Herder, those things don't stabilize from... You say you like those help stabilize, but they don't stabilize from elusives. And that's what we're looking at. Uh, killing us is elusives. Places to go, people to be. Celestial power. Are you certain? I don't know what kind of, like, Nexus healing champion we can hit. But yeah, it doesn't matter. The game opponent. Elusive aggro got us. Alright, we have Kindred Nasus. Um... I, yeah, the new skins look really cool, Japanese Airlines. Yeah, they I, I liked them. They look awesome. And Teddy, I would say neither. I think that they're doing a very good job. All right, so let's mulligan the seven mana cards. Even though if they're, you know, this turns out to you know, be a big removal heavy deck, we may want that in the late game. But let's not keep them in our opener. All right, we got some Merciless Hunters, that's for sure. All right, at this point, I'll take a Howling Abyss because I've already got pretty good stuff for, like, the, you know, turns three through six coming up before that. Okay, so we'll get that 3-2 dead as well. Okay, cool. We'll just draw two. 
Because it's not like their thing's going to die, so now they draw two instead. That was going to kill my Merciless Hunter also, so now we get to keep Merciless Hunter alive. So not bad, we both have five cards in hand, but we have a 1-1 one, one Zillion and a Merciless Hunter in play. Plus an extra mana. The soul wears away like rains of sand. We love it when they run! Disintegrate. I'm a little worried of like Kindred, like I play Avros and Hearthguard, they play Kindred, and then whenever those die, then they get to mark a Merciless Hunter. I'm not sure if that's worth a troll chant. That's the card I'm worried about. Right there. Let's get two five zillion. But also, I like Zillion's champion spell. They're just playing Spirit Journey, I guess, yeah. An interplay so we do revive the Hearth Guard, so it does resummon, so it does get the ability again and everything. So that's all really cool. Do I want to Chrono Shift? If I Chrono Shift this thing, I don't think it dies, and then they don't get... I'm marking this. Yeah, so it, just, it would deny the level for a round, but they should be able to still get the level the next round anyway. Because I assume that they have, you know, another way to slay something the next round. Good hand. I can't stop this 12 12. I really can't stop that thing. Is on the job. This too shall end. I will find someone. We do not linger. You are safe with Brawl. Oh, right, they're going to get the minus one, minus zero. I, I didn't think about the minus one, minus zero. I didn't think about that. I mean, I need that flash freeze, but I also kind of need this time bomb. Champions are awesome. They get going and everything. And they That's certainly did get going. Man, really a zero. Man, this, we are not. Uh, 
Not facing the normal decks we play in normal. Alright, we got a Destined Poro this time. And a Mighty Poro, Poro Snacks. Yeah, they had a great, great Kindred Hand. Um, and then Nasus, like that was... That was rough. Barring student. Ouch. These decks are just not joking around. They're not... Not messing around at all. And our last two opponents. Because how that last opponent had... How they had... Like, their deck was better than Thresh Nasus with how Kindred was performing. How they had Kindred and how it was performing. It was better than Thresh. And so, going from... That's right. Run! Going from better... You know, a better Thresh Nasus to a really Azir. Like, we're trying to play Poros. Come on, give us a break here, you know? Like, what is this? Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Take That's just lethal. With the elusives. And then and then you know even our first opponent had that you know, all those awesome That's elusives right. and everything that we are. We are not running against anybody who's running cold. All three opponents have had amazing hands. Okay. This is... Finally our first, like, not tier one deck. Because even that first opponent, I, I think that deck's really good. Like, I, I think Kyrian Sumpworker is awesome and really underrated. Okay. You're gone. We're going to keep the Flash Freeze for these big units. And we got champions. So this is going to be our best shot so far. I'm not sure if Siphoning Strike is going to kill anything. Like, our units aren't really big enough for it. So, just going to go ahead and skip. Snacks. Just a moment. Taking Time Bomb, of course, because, um, you know, Time Bomb doesn't do anything to the Ruthless Raider, but Time Bomb does draw a card. Rom, I thought he was just a story. And so since it cycles and gets us another card, we're going to take that, and it'll be halfway to leveling up Zillion also. In the War Mother's name. First we fought a new met my shield. That didn't go over so well. Is on the job. 
This did not go over so well. I would not I would not conclude these games by by saying Zillion is underperforming hard. I would not that's not a very fair conclusion, I don't think. Look at all these cards that we're playing with Zillion. I would not say that the problem with our deck is Zillion is underperforming or underperforming hard. Zillion's gonna be our, our only shot, <laughs> right? Like level up Zillions are our one in our one shot. Sharima, your emperor has returned. Tremble before the winter's claw. So we'll make a new time bomb and a new Azir in our hand. New Azir can give me burst speed blockers. And help level up this Azir. Another time bomb. Ah, uh, we need one more to kill that Brom. Till round start. Come, we have an empire to build. You have to imagine they can keep. Brom. Like, you have to imagine that they have a, a combat spell, right? How they're just not doing anything else. And so if I if I go for Brom, then they would level up Brom, and then my time bomb gives them a 3-3 overwhelm. Wrap them up tight. Oh no! Arise. I forgot. Zero percent play. Sharima. Everything. Okay, cool. They're not blocking with Braum for some reason. My axe is ready. Sorry, Azir. Our Zillion's too cool, getting us too many good guards. We just don't have the mana for everything. <laughs> you know, we have millions of more cards than they do because of Zillion, but we just don't have the mana for everything. Alright, what three keywords do you have? Fury, Overwhelm, Quick Attack. Love it. Um, you block there, you block there. So 
that puts me down to 12 and doesn't change anything else. That's fine. start what do we get quick attack elusive lifesteal let's go Can't give, I wish I could give my zillion minus two minus zero with troll chance, but yeah, there we go. Exalted Poros. They exalted. All right, zillion kind of won that game, but I'm gonna pretend like it was Exalted Poro winning that game. And Yasuo Malphite. All right, we're not good at removing stuff. So we're not good at removing Yasuo. We can hope that they don't draw Yasuo. That's a good hope. Merciless Hunter can remove a Yasuo. But of course, if they play Yasuo, that means they have stun cards, and they just stun the Merciless Hunter, and then the Merciless Hunter dies. Yeah. We get... Getting all those snacks. With the leveled up Zillion. Now remember, Zillion only copies the non... It's, you can't just like play one snacks and you just get snacks for every single turn the rest of the game, because it only copies the non-fleeting cards. So your second snacks that you play is a fleeting card. And therefore that doesn't get copied anymore. So we we did our job of um turning one one snacks into two snacks. All right, opponents living the dream, getting that extra card draw with the dancing droplet. Basically just drew a free card. I know this isn't me going after Yasuo. But Take um, we still struggle with elusives. We have seen that elusives are problems. that's the line that I would have gone if I were them. I think I would have just recalled the Navori Conspirator so it didn't die to the Merciless Hunter and it didn't have Vulnerable anymore and then I would have used the Navori Conspirator to rebalance the Dancing Droplet. But that's what they went with. Let us get going. Oh man. Rockfall Path. Really underrated. Obliterate the two weakest enemies. That's gonna be my Braum. And my Destin Poro. My cool my two coolest enemies.
Oh yeah, it's countdown to obliterate one weakest enemy, right? Not not a not obliterate two weakest enemy. So that still gets rid of Braum. Our strength is yours. Which is like the worst thing ever. Braum's so cool. Okay. Speaking of worst thing ever. They found Yasuo. Okay, so I don't know how we defeat Yasuo. Don't know if we can. Siphoning strike doesn't work, right? The way is I guess there's a chance it works. I'm more myself than ever. Some things never die. Down to one health. We'll get our legs in. Wrap them up tight. Open your eyes. Back, heretic. This would have been a great turn to have the Howling Abyss. Alright, only four mana. My name will echo through the ages. Not really better time to try it. Yeah, that's gonna get eaten by deny at any time. Yeah, and I went on the hearth card, so if it was a homecoming, then I would be able to recast, you know, be able to replay the hearth card. I mean, I don't want to block with my destined Poro. I'm sorry, Destin Poro. Time bomb? Treasure Karma? Yeah, Treasure Karma would be pretty sweet. Okay, found another Time Bomb. I kind of want to wait till next round to play the Poro Snacks, so then we get an, an additional Poro Snacks. Kind of think I just want to do this and pass. Really don't need this Azir. You know, we have another Azir. We have like Poros that we can play instead. Just don't need this Azir. In 
I was wondering how early this thing was going to be leveling up. Time waits for no one. No one but me. So now, you know, Yasuo does damage equal to its power, so it's going to do zero damage. Um. Let's get some Poros. And some Poros snacks. with this thing I take five probably not much difference between three and five oh no that stun card that's uh, I'm dead either way no matter what that eight overwhelm uh, I was gonna have a good open attack coming back Okay, so there we go. That was our Zillion Poro deck. Honestly, not too bad. I know like it's a one in four record, but we're talking about a meme tier deck here. But it, it didn't feel too bad. Our first three opponents were all playing great decks that had really good hands, and you know, like that's just gonna beat meme tier decks. And and um, not you know, I wasn't really ashamed of any of those. Then our last opponent, you know, had had you know they had both champions. They had very good interaction to go along with the champions, and just exactly what you want with the Yasuo Malphite deck. And they were able to outgrind us with those and again no no real shame they had you know each interaction card they needed to keep that yasuo alive when they needed it and that's uh that's um you know that's just how it goes sometimes all right but that's going to be it here for zillion poros so those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments as well I know we didn't have the most wins, but hopefully y'all enjoyed the games and, and uh, found the deck pretty fun. Getting extra Poro snacks with Zillion. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it here for Zillion Poros. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.